Hello, welcome to what would have been my playthrough of the Gloomwood demo, but I managed to record the whole thing without any game sound. As such, instead you're just going to have to listen to my impressions of the game. Gloomwood was a game that we saw at the Future Games Show in Gamescom, and there was a demo released the same day. It describes itself as being inspired by the immersive sims and survival horror games of old and you can tell that from the design it looks and feels very much like something that could have been produced in the ps1 era but without that kind of offensive low poly blockiness it's been described by others as resident evil meets thief but i've never played thief so i can't really speak to that part of it but what i will say is that you can really tell where it takes its influences from resident evil as well as where it diverges the premise is pretty straightforward. You start off uh, and you find a letter from someone who is saying that you should meet them in the castle or manor in the old town and that you have to be very careful because it's fraught with dangers and all sorts of stuff. And as you go through, you find that there's guards everywhere who you have to avoid. And you, as you go through, you pick up ammunition and health items, but they're very limited. You have to be very careful when you use them. In order to unlock your final destination, you've got to unlock a series of doors that involve a lot of backtracking through different areas, all of which is very standard Resident Evil stuff. So where it starts to differ from Resident Evil is the... It's not just a case of you can go in and like all guns blazing and shoot the enemies or run past them if you want and try and avoid them but you can also use stealth either to completely hide from them or to take them down through stealth kills and this is something where as well as that you can hide the bodies to make sure that their friends don't find them and keep the stealth up and all this sort of thing because the, the enemy ai Although it's quite simple and it can be exploited, as I kind of found when I was playing the demo, there's enough there that, like, I took a key from a window and the guard who was on duty noticed it was missing. That may have been scripted, but equally, it, it does seem that when they hit you, know, when they hear you making noise and rattling around, they react to that and they go looking for it as well. So it's very simple. Obviously, it's not like the kind of dynamic ai that you'd see in something like the last of us 2 but I'm, at the same time i'm not sure that we'd want it to be necessarily because i think that would be a very hard game and you can already make this game harder if you want by upping the difficulty and that reduces the amount of resources available increases the amount of enemies increases the amount of damage they do but yeah it, it does the job that it, it's meant to do uh, which is to force you to manage your resources and to be careful about you know choosing what to do in, in terms of knowing that you'll have to backtrack the other enemies worth mentioning that you fight in the demo are these like half pterodactyl men in the sewers which sounds and to be honest when you see the, the corpse it kind of looks completely absurd but it's also like quite effective in terms of when you hear them screeching at you and they come running they're very fast and they're very deadly so you've got to be quick on the draw that's something you advise to get your shotgun out so they're quite effective as like a slightly higher class of enemy in that initial area and on you that you'll be facing several different levels of threat so that's quite good the sound design i gotta say is quite quite good both in terms of the horror in terms of the sounds that the enemies make especially when you're in tight spaces but also also adds to the tension of the stealth makes you have to listen you there's a, there's a mechanic where you can lean either to peer around corners but you can also lean against doors and listen inside so you can hear if there are enemies inside so there's a lot more to it there and so the, the sound design saves that quite well the level design saves the backtracking because the way the town is built it feels large without actually being enormous and sprawling there's just enough backtrack in there that you have to go to several different areas but you don't feel like you just trapes in forever so it's quite good in that sense and beyond that the main other thing that i can say for it is that i'm very excited to see what more we'll get of it and how much it'll evolve i'll put a link in the description to the game on steam so you can wish list it and you can add get the demo now and play it if you want but on the 6th of september we'll also be getting early access so we'll be able to see what the full game and what more areas will look like and, and for one I'm, I'm quite excited by that prospect because I, I do think there's a lot of potential in this so do check that out but yeah that, that's my impressions overall extremely positive and extremely glad that i tried this out and tried this demo out. so if you try it as well hopefully you will too if you're a survival horror fan you definitely don't want to sleep on this in my opinion but if you've played it already let me know let me know what you thought about it in the comments if you've not played it yet let me know whether you're intrigued or you tried to or whether it's not quite caught your imagination and if so why and if you've enjoyed this video then give it a like and subscribe to get more of my content like the video that's just popped up which youtube thinks you should watch next and check out the link in the description to my Patreon if you want to support the channel more directly and get perks like shoutouts and early access to videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Inside at last, are you? <laughs> Welcome.